And Action News Now will continue to stay on top of this story and learn new details about the cause and the ongoing investigation. And speaking of fire, we're all feeling the temperatures, which of course means it's warming up and that means it's drier out and it's time to start thinking about wildfire preparedness. And with what we experienced during 2018, defensible space is more important than ever. Cecile Juliet is live in paradise with some information on keeping us all safe. Good morning, and yes, I'm joined by Don Criswell, who knows everything about defensible pay space and has put it into practice after the Humboldt fires when you lost several outbuildings, you managed to save your house. But you've been practicing for the campfire for 10 years now. Tell us about your experience with the campfire. And we also have pictures and video of the day before the campfire that you took and of your fighting of the campfire. So tell us about that experience. Well, the Humboldt fire taught us quite a number of lessons. Um, the most important one, I guess, was that we had to keep clearing land. We had been clearing, but it, it's, it's an expensive and you know, very laborious process. But anyway, we cleared. We, we, we spent 10 years getting ready for the campfire. And in my opinion, and I think my wife would agree that that's what saved us, uh, saved our, our ranch. We saved this building, our home. We did lose some buildings, but they were outlying buildings. And I'm pretty sure that embers are what caused those buildings to catch fire. It wasn't the fire didn't burn up to them. And it's also a community effort for you. You were saying that your neighbors hadn't touched their property in what decades? Yeah, some of my neighbors. Uh, my my, I have great neighbors, but there were a couple of parcels of big pieces of land here that were just wild. Um, no one lived on them. They uh, were never cleared. They did burn 10 years ago at the Humboldt fire, and they burned again this time. And they brought the fire to your property. That's correct. So you're saying it's a community effort. It's not just that you take defensible space seriously. It matters what your neighbors do. That's right, and that's why I said I have great neighbors. Most of, I would say all of my neighbors that lived here at the before the campfire were good about that but it was the properties that weren't cleared that brought the fire to us and the same thing happens I think in a, in a town if one person cleans their lot that's great but that person's neighbor needs to do the same thing and that person's neighbor needs to, to clear as well it's a community effort or community project if you will absolutely okay and thank you for your advice and we're going to also do a Facebook live here coming up in just a few minutes because he has so much important so many important things to say about this and that way he can just go long form and we're not under a time deadline uh, so go to our Facebook page shortly to hear more of what he has to say about defensible space something that we all really really need to take very seriously right now back to you in the studio